Uh, the Coach of the Year means 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 a lot lot to me. Uh, it's a great honour to be awarded Coach of the Year. There's been uh, several great coaches who've, who've won the award before me, so I'm I, I'm very privileged. But I don't think the award should. Uh, uh, particularly be uh, just my efforts alone. There's a lot of people behind us in our squash club in uh, North Wales. Uh, people like Sean Sullivan, uh, who organises the club, Graham Parfoot, who's a brilliant uh, person to get everybody involved in the club. Uh, and I must say, my, my wife, my wife has been thoroughly supportive in all my uh, squash efforts. Uh, she, she really has supported me and uh, helps me out when, whenever she can. Well. My journey into coaching has been a bit of an accident. Uh, I was first of all rang on a Monday night when I was uh, uh, living uh, back home in Merthyr and asked to take over the under 14 Mid Glamorgan uh, squash team that used to be because the coach had dropped out. So I wasn't particularly doing anything on a Saturday and I said, uh, yes, I'll, I'll turn up. I got an old coaching, uh, squash coaching book out of the attic and read a few chapters and uh, did exactly what it said in the book. And uh, next thing you know, I'm coaching the under 14 squash team and my journey has sort of uh, gone on from there through college and, uh, uh, and now in later life. I tried to fit in my coaching the uh, the coaching that I do to the to the pupil that I'm that I'm taking. For example, uh, juniors I think need a lot more fun activities within their squash uh, and the, and the coaching. So rather than a focus on the development, it's more fun getting activities, getting involved. Adults then need a little bit more improvement to be seen from, from week to week. So with adults, I try to focus on measurable goals that we can get and do within a, a time frame to allow them to progress. And adults seem to like a good workout as well. So I always try to make sure that every squash session has got an element of physicality in it as well. Uh, well, in terms of mental resilience, I like the quote from Arnold Schwarzenegger which is uh, that the only thing that works 100% of the time is working your ass off 100% of the time. And I try to instill in the pupils that even if you hit the shot 100 times in practice, it's worth it for that one time within the match or a training session that you actually manage to pull that shot off. So I think I try to instill a, um, a belief that you need to put the work in in order to get the results out. And that generally seems to work very well with the students I take. Over the past year, we've had some notable successes at uh, Anismon Squash Club. Uh, some of the great successes has been uh, our junior players now becoming part of our senior teams. We've had two very uh, successful juniors in uh, Rian Jones and Lucas Jackson who are now playing week to week in our adult team, which is, which is really good. Uh, and if I, uh, if I can, I'll share with you a little story of an adult uh, person who, who I coach, a uh, guy by the name of Will, who's a real gentleman. He's a, a fantastic uh, 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 person to coach. And he was in uh, New York a little while ago for, uh, for business and managed to play squash uh, with the club pro at the very, very prestigious Union Squash Club in, in Manhattan. And he had a game with the club pro and then told the club pro after the game that he's got a coach on Anglesey who's not only better than him, but better than him at, at squash as well. So I'm waiting for my invitation to be asked to go to New York to take over my coaching position anytime now. The challenges facing squash coaches uh, I think revolve around the opportunities that uh, children especially have outside of physical activity. Things like uh, gaming, uh, using mobile devices. I think the, the difficulty for many squash coaches is getting children to do squash on a squash court rather than stay at home and play, uh, and play video games. Uh, I think that the challenges of tearing children away from screens are becoming more difficult every year. Uh, and the, the, the fact that the children that you do coach are there, you know, speaks volumes for the fact that we can get children away from these devices and we can get them on court. In terms of sportsmanship and uh, in terms of trying to foster uh, discipline and a team ethic, I like the pupils that, uh, that I teach to help each other. We get 
in our squash club, the older members to help the younger members and the younger members were maybe a little bit better than some of the other members to help each other out. So what happens is the, pu the pupils get used to helping each other and they get used to taking advice from each other and helping each other out and even managing to coach each other so that they can uh, develop a sense of bonding and a sense of community between the players themselves. Well, there's, uh, in, in terms of personal aspiration, is uh, I turn 50 next year, so I'd like to try out for the uh, over 50s uh, Welsh uh, uh, men's team uh, uh, next year. Uh, and I'd like to grow our club. I'd like to grow Anismon so that our junior club can have extra members. I'd like to grow it and have more senior members. Uh, and the success that we're experiencing at the moment, I'd like to ride on that uh, success and take it forward into the future. Uh, any advice that I would give to potential coaches is just get out and do it. Uh, get your qualifications, you'll get your uh, certificates, you'll get your confidence, you'll get the way to coach, you'll get all sorts of advice. Get out there, get coaching, start small, have a plan, make sure that the pupils and the people you coach uh, get measurable and uh, good uh, results from your coaching and just get involved really, get involved. Do it and uh, try your best to get as many people involved as you can uh, on the way. It's a bit more authentic being on court as well because you get the squash court smell. You get that, that lovely sort of almost dusty smell. <laughs>